An SEC filing on June 22nd, 2022, shows that Warren Buffett is buying more stock in oil producer Occidental Petroleum. He bought over 9 million more shares of the company through Berkshire Hathaway between June 17th and June 22nd of this year, which brings his total number of common shares owned to over 152 million and makes him the single largest shareholder in the company. Due to additional preferred shares and warrants he already owns from a prior financing deal he made with the company, his percent of the equity owned in Occidental Petroleum is close to a third of the company at this point. It's been recently even suggested that it might be possible that Warren Buffett is positioning himself so that Berkshire Hathaway can outright acquire the entire company by buying the remaining two-thirds it doesn't own. This theory was recently suggested by a truest analyst that upgraded his Oxy price target to $93 a share. The analyst argued that Buffett may outright acquire the company after its debt becomes investment grade rated through the company's debt repayment efforts. While it's not possible to know for sure what Buffett has in mind, it's clear that he has been aggressively buying the shares and is bullish on the future of the company. Let's take a look at some reasons why he might be so bullish about this as an investment. Reason number one, Occidental Petroleum has a low break-even price on oil of around $40 a barrel, according to the company's CEO. With oil currently over $100 a barrel, this means that the company is exceptionally profitable right now and is positioned to remain so even if oil prices decline in the near term. While it's currently generating high cash flows with $3.3 billion in cash flow in the first quarter of 2022, the much lower break-even price the company has on oil gives it a margin of safety as an investment since it can be profitable even at much lower energy prices than the ones we're currently seeing. In addition, it has diversified oil assets with operations in the United States, the Middle East, and South America. Being a lower cost oil producer makes it a more attractive investment as a company, and I'm sure Buffett sees that as an attractive factor in his investment rationale. Reason number two. The company is using the high profits it's generating due to recent strength in oil prices to quickly pay down its debt, which will start to boost its credit rating and make it a safer investment as it pays off its liabilities. It recently paid back $3.3 billion of its own debt, which is 12% of the outstanding principal debt it has. The recent company focus has been on returning its debt status back to an investment grade rating, and I'm sure Buffett appreciates the company deleveraging, which will expose the company to less credit risk going forward and make it safer for investors like him to enter. Reason number three, Occidental Petroleum has been increasing its focus on generating shareholder returns, and in February of this year, raised its regular quarterly dividend to 13 cents a share from only one cent a share prior to this. In addition, it reactivated its stock buyback program and plans to buy back $3 billion of its own stock, which will provide support for its stock price going forward. There's no doubt that returning more value to shareholders through dividends and buybacks has made it a more attractive investment opportunity in Buffett's eyes since they are taking deliberate efforts to support and increase the share price for investors going forward. I think these three reasons especially are factoring into Buffett's decision to buy more shares of Occidental Petroleum, as he seems to be strongly in support of the recent moves the company's management has been making. While it's hard to say where oil prices will go from here with the increased volatility we've been seeing in energy prices lately, it's clear that Warren Buffett is bullish on Occidental Petroleum as a company as he continues to buy more of the equity in its stock. 
What are your thoughts on his investment? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more finance content and leave a like on the video. Thanks.